Got some of the tackling fuel. Tackling fuel. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is super early. Every time we get up this early, I feel like we're I feel like we're doing that scene from uh, Fast and the Furious where, hey, where's your brother sneaking off in the middle of the night for? You know? But we're gonna get some track time, boy, some seat time. So I'll see you guys in a little bit at the track. Hey, why you got a helmet on, girl? You gonna race? What? You guys hear that? She wants to race. We're gonna let her drive it. She's gonna drive the six speed manual today. Can you drive manual? No. Can you even reach the clutch? I don't know. Oh, Lord. We're gonna give her a little ride, boys. We're gonna give her a little ride, but they need some nice cars out here today. It is an open track day today. Yeah. So if you guys are from Vegas, man, you guys check it out. Speed Vegas, they do one open track every Sunday. But let's go see if we can get some seat time, warm up these tires. You ready?
right, let's see. This thing is back up and running. Let's see. Oh. Let's see. Yes, sir. Looking good already. So we had a little issue with this car, boys. Uh, kept losing power and the battery kept draining. So it wasn't charging and definitely charging now. Let's see. Oh yeah, you see that voltage creep up? That's what you want right there. Yeah, we couldn't get any voltage um, from the alternator and at first I thought it was the alternator, maybe cabling, ground issues, all that. After troubleshooting some issues, come to find out it was just our voltage regulator, boys. These old cars have these voltage regulators that um, are external, not part of the alternator like an LS would be. But we'll replace that bad boy down here and it seems to be charging now now it's talking to the alternator letting it know to charge the battery because this thing left us on the side of the road the other day oh lord back at the garage that was some good seat time by the way and we got the big block chevelle back up and running but today's video we're gonna be focusing on the little bit of the cooling system still but also ac as well because you guys know these vintage air kits um come with like a trinary switch binary switch and you really have to have some air flowing through that condenser at all times and the problem with uh the hellcat fan that we're setting up because it's that pulse width modulation we cannot do that with that so uh on alternative what we're gonna do boys today we have this bad boy here a little permacool um external fan this thing is nice man look this thing is 2400 cfm dude that's probably more than a lot of these other cars that are pushing around here 2400 cfm boys uh, we're gonna actually it's just a little eight inch fan nothing crazy we're gonna mount this guy in front of that condenser as an external um pusher pusher fan pushing air through that condenser that way our ac is working properly at all times until the, at least that fan kicks on let me go ahead and unbox this guy here we'll mount it up and then we'll wire in that trinary switch you guys want to see my biggest fan ready for takeoff in three two one oh no it's pretty loud for that little fan all right boys fan is installed now wiring i know i dread it too sometimes not always not like you guys probably but you got to do a little bit of research boys you got to do your research now how we're going to wire this thing with the trinary switch i'm going to tell you guys let me show you i went ahead and drew a little map diagram however you guys want to call it hopefully this helps out and visualize it a little bit better this is our trinary switch right from vintage air coming off the dryer you're gonna have four leads. You're gonna have two blues, two blacks, right? First blue, you're gonna go just find a good chassis ground. You're gonna ground that guy there. Um, the second blue, you're gonna actually go to your relay. I'll talk about that here in a sec. And then your other two, you have blacks, two blacks. Doesn't matter which one, by the way, guys, they're all the same. First black, you'll go to the blue wire, probably, it's probably a baby blue wire coming from your vintage air kit from the front of the car so you got to run that to the front of the car i should say from the dash to the front of the car so to that wire there now the second black wire is actually going to run to your ac compressor and that'll be your positive side to the ac compressor that'll be your power to the ac comp now on the comp side here you're going to have two leads coming off that compressor and the other one will just go to ground so you got one going to trinary switch positive and then the other one to a chassis ground now this blue wire up here that we talked about going to a relay you're gonna have to set up a, the fan relay obviously just to protect that circuit 
Now this will be your trigger. This will go to pin 85 on a fan relay, just in the standard, like a 30 amp relay, you'll have pin eight, pin 30, just positive 12 volts all the time on. Pin 86, ignition, 12 volts. Uh, pin 87, it'll be actually your positive lead to your fan, that's gonna be your positive power output. And then pin 85 is that trigger slash ground that's coming from the trinary switch. So pin 85, that's what's going to that, from that blue wire to pin 85 on your relay. Now, out of your relay, you're gonna have, now talking to the fan, you're gonna have that pin 87 go out to your positive lead into the fan, and then the other one on the fan, you're just gonna ground out the other lead. Now, no, remember this, this is a pusher style fan, guys, so we're just gonna swap polarities, and that'll allow that fan to spin the opposite way. Hopefully this information is a little bit clear and hopefully you guys get what I'm coming from or get where I'm coming from And now it's time to actually do it. Let's get to the car. All right, boys This thing is wired up mounted up. Let me show you guys what we did Like I said, I talked to you guys a little bit about the wiring uh, procedure and diagram over at the whiteboard But now I got everything done here for the most part. So that's our power wire from our relay and then we also went ahead and put a couple connector ends on the fan itself for quick disconnect. That's where we ended up mounting the relay right there. You guys can see, obviously. And then here we got in the other pigtail. You guys might've saw this in the other video. This is for the actual trinary switch that we talked about. Like I so said, you got the blue and black wires that come off of there. Obviously you got the one that goes back to the compressor. We ran that along with a couple grounds alongside of here, back over here. And then don't worry about this wire guys. This is for our parking light, but grounded them there and that There's another wire that runs from there to the actual uh, radiator support and that goes back to another grounding post and so on And then the other wire that we ran was is here this guy here And that one is actually back to the connector this connector right here comes with the AC compressor from Bushland performance and that's your two wire two lead pigtail like i said that's going to be your power and then the other wire from that pigtail is just for your ground and we made a grounding point right here at this frame this guy right here we drill this out and then this ground actually is coming from the block if you guys can see it grounds out right there on the block and then this goes back to another grounding post in the car and that connects to the battery so like i said boys you can never have enough ground to make sure you guys are grounding everything possibly and make sure it's a solid ground so we got that and that's it i mean you just have the pigtail coming off the ac compressor and then all the wiring that we talked about on the whiteboard just make sure you guys follow that but i think that should do it for that fan and that should get us um cooled down enough to where when the car is at idle or at a stoplight or something like that whether we're at a stoplight at idle and we have not had that main fan kick on this should help with that we kind of probably went with two but one's good enough just because like i said by the time you turn on your ac and stuff like that the car should almost be up to temperature to where that main fan is coming on this is just that aux fan not to mention this guy is 2500 cfm which is pretty impressive but guys, I will try to put a link down in the description below for that if you guys are interested in one of those. But you guys already know, man. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell for notifications, and stay rented.